Hello, I'm George Styles, And I'm Alex Lilly. And today is Fresh as Fair. It is. So we're going to walk around and see some society. Let's see what we sign up to. Let's go. Let's go. I'm George Styles, <laughs> And today Adam Cater has joined us on Open Mic. Your style of oh, playing of just yourself and the guitar and it's quite chilled. Mm -hmm. You know you reminded me of? Yeah. Have you heard any of the musical works of Tom Felton? I haven't heard any Draco of Malfoy. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. Tom Felton. His uh, musician name is Felt Beats. <laughs> so let's let's give okay. that a moment. Hello and welcome to Film Focus, a new KTV entertainment show where I speak to the cast, crew, or production assistants, directors, anyone I can get a hold of, of local films and documentaries from the Kent area. Today we're looking at Incredible, the latest piece of work by Arnie Voicy of KTV about a man who chooses to put his business over his fiance and unborn child, and they see how that goes. I'm joined by the lead, Joe Johnson. Thank you for coming. Uh, thanks so much. Okay, so for people that have watched the today's episode, mm -hmm. and they're thinking, I want to get myself a bit more cater. <laughs> I need some catering done. Yeah. Can have that one. Hi, I'm George Styles, and here in the University of Kent Canterbury campus, we have a surprising new addition. Is this a teacup ride that one might find at a fun fair? But why is it here? Well, it's not just for fun and games and the joy of being a tuck cup of tea. Actually, to raise awareness for Mental Health Week. <laughs> I spoke to Rory Murray, VP Welfare, to find out more. Hi, Rory. So, the teacups. The teacups. Yeah, so it's an interesting choice. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what was going through your mind? Yeah, so it's all, this week is our mental health week. So it's all Hello, and welcome to a KTV Halloween special. We've assembled the seven best pumpkin carvers we could find on the university campus to get them to carve their very own pumpkin. We've put them into three teams of two and a Scotsman, and we've given them a set of random cutlery, some headphones, and some foil. They've got 20 minutes and afterwards they're going to do the scoring themselves. Okay, is everyone ready? Okay, three, two, one, cut! As you can see, the dark skies are back with us and that means we're already halfway through our term this year at the University of Kent. It's cloudy today with some intermittent showers and tomorrow we're going to have a large amount of showers but after that, for the whole rest of the weekend, it's just going to be cloudy, so not much to worry about there. And over the course of next week, we're going to continue this trend with cloud mixed with a little bit of rain. So not a terrible week, but at the same time, watch the skies and see if it's raining because you might need an umbrella. So it's really good. So yeah, so you said it's your first on-screen yeah, yeah. acting work. So I guess that means you've done previous acting work off-screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done loads of um, uh, just kind of in school stuff and then I was part of a youth theatre after that. Hello, welcome to another episode of Film Focus. I'm George Stiles and I'm joined by you two lovely gentlemen and I'm, I've, never oh, I've never interviewed a dog before. I'm, I'm Mark Jeffries and that's uh, Isaac Allen. I, uh, it was my idea to do the film um, and uh, Isaac's, uh, he's edited the whole project. So, Because yeah. you've made a full length documentary. It's a 40 minute documentary. Called uh, uh, Four Men and a Dog, The, the Finish, Finish Line. line. Yeah. Uh, to read, well, it's essentially a um, who do you think you are with a dog? So, so Osa, you had quite the trip. You uh, you got to see other Finnish Lappens. How are they? Do you meet any nice nice ladies? He, he uh, you got an award. <laughs> I'm George Styles. And I'm Alexander Lilly. And you're watching Results Night Live with KTV. Tonight's about the sabbatical office. It is. So. Maybe it might be a good idea to look at what the sabbatical officers do, what their specific job roles are. Well, if only there was a VT for that. If there, only there is was. a VT there for is. that. VP Activity, yeah. The Vice President for Activities of the Kent Union Office are responsible for all societies and extracurricular activities which are not covered by the Vice President for Sports. So yesterday we showed you our three smoothies to cure hangovers and I, I would say they probably were delicious. Yeah, I thought they were quite nice. Yeah, or you enjoyed like them. them. Oh, that's very nice. Tom liked the melon, but we just went with whatever melon. Yes. Kathy liked one. Oh my god! It's nice, right? I, I can't just like that. that. <laughs> We're doing leaky salmon in a mug. Because why not? We're continuing the mug theme. Now remember, everyone's got a mug. I've been George Siles, and this is KTV. <laughs> 